So today this is a, a request from one of the subscribers called Corey Tula. Thanks, Corey. Um, never really thought of this one before, but yeah, once uh, once he mentioned it, it did sort of make sense. So if you do look at my videos, you'll see we do quite a bit of work. And uh, well, let's get to it and let's have a look and see just how stinking this uh, engine bay can get. So there we go. We've opened the back. We've taken out the uh, the luggage uh, the luggage cover. So next thing we do is, um, I put actually, this is a hair bubble I put in this little slot here just to help lift the carpet up. So lift the carpet up um, you'll need something to prop it open with. Um, I'm sure there was a design there, but I've always used a really handy uh, stick. Next thing to do is uh, this Zeus fastener. You just turn it anti-clockwise, like so. And then you just lift it up and towards you or away from the vehicle slide it out set it to one side and you can start to see just how grimy dusty and dirty it looks so here we are in a little bit more detail the air box cover the fuel rail the alternator the headers it is quite filthy in there so here we go, a little bit more detail, and uh, what we're going to do now is just protect these electrical connectors here, here, and then the uh, the coil packs as well, which go on top of the spark plugs, and also this connected block here. So the way we do that is, I, as you all know by now, if you're regular viewers and subscribers, I've got a husky, his name's Louis. Uh, so we're going to use today something I have plenty of, which is uh, doggy poop bags. So I'm literally just cutting the handles off, uh, trimming them down. I use about six or seven of these. Uh, they'll do the job. So here we go. Uh, here are the coil packs here. So literally, you just wrap them around. Uh, I've sped up the video here just so you can see, but literally that's all I'm doing is wrapping them around just to stop any water ingress to get in there. I'm sure they would be fine, but I've seen this before. Now there is a guy and a lovely YouTube creator that is, does the most amazing car detailing work. And his name on his channel is the Car Cleaning Guru. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, really great guy. When he talks, he's just so soothing and so calming. And here we go again. Um, my daughter's bobbles. They'll be wondering where they are for keeping their hair up. I use these just to keep them in place. So I'm going to use uh, proper gunk, gunk, gunk ultra, so to speak. And uh, it's a really good uh, engine degreaser cleaner. Get rid of dirt, dust, grime. Um, I paid £11.50 for this, but I do get a bit of a discount from a company called AB Motor Factors here in my local town of Blackwood. Really nice guys. Um, they didn't ask me to do that. I felt that I should because they're always so helpful. Now, here's a special advisor observing everything that we do today. Um, Ducky likes his bath, so Smarty's going to have a bath, so why not bring Ducky? Okay, so let's get started. So I've got myself just a little container, um, filled it with a degreaser, and I've got myself a really good, strong detail brush. So I'm going to work now in a methodical manner, left to right on the left-hand side of the bay, working towards the back like this, and then on the other side of the bay as well. So I'm putting it on quite liberally. Now you can see there's quite a lot there. Now if you have a look, that's probably a little bit more than a, a big mug that you would have probably with a coffee in, and uh, I'm applying it quite liberally. The brush I'm using is uh, is a, a detailed finishing paint brush, and about two pound fifty, three pounds from a local DIY store. It's got relatively soft to medium bristles, so uh, it gets into all the nooks and crannies. But you can see as it's being applied, it really does lather up 
quite well and the reaction to the oil the dirt the grease the grime is making it foam so again being really generous with it so moving on to the other side of the engine now so this is where you've got the uh, the alternator as well but all the while as i'm doing this i'm avoiding electrics if i can i'm not trying to force any down there but i am giving it a bit of pressure i'm looking into all the nooks and, nooks and crannies um, i'm not being frightened of anything because i know the uh, the doggy poop bags which we wrapped around the more sensitive and more susceptible areas of electric components are going to protect it from any overspray any uh, any splashing etc now i'm working my way into the actual side of the bulkhead of the engine bay as well i'm being really quite aggressive with it putting lots and lots on um, you could give it a couple of coats as well so remember this is a 2008 car so what's that 10 years old in my maths that's quite easy thank goodness um, so this has never been done in this engine bay before so it'll be quite interesting to see just how this turns out now i don't know about you as i say going back to that uh, youtuber called car cleaning guru as he talks he's quite therapeutic and he's very very good at what he does and he does not just uh, ordinary run-of-the-mill sedans and hatchbacks he does supercars he does rally cars he does uh, prestige luxury vehicles as well he specializes in engine bay cleaning i've got some of the tips from here from him i do warn you though if you watch his youtube channel it is addictive and you will go out and buy lots of brushes lots of microfiber cloths i just love it i just i can't get enough of it so here we are we're getting towards the end now and i pay particular attention to the back and i'm going over some of the more dusty more grimy parts of the engine bay just to make sure i get every little bit covered off to give it as good a finish as i can and again working into the bulkhead the side of the engine bay the metal part of the engine bay give it one more little dib dab of the engine rail around about the dipstick and the actual oil filler cap as well done so the next thing we use is just an ordinary spray pump now this cost me about six pounds about eight dollars nine dollars um, you just put water in it i use it for cleaning the car and a soapy uh, soap free bucket so it's just fresh water oh and mr ducky's back on observation so i'm gonna fill this up now with just plain good old-fashioned tap water pump it up under pressure so there's no need for a jet wash here i think it would just make an awful mess so i decided to have more control and use this now what you can't see here is i've actually got the engine running um a long time ago now maybe about some 20 years ago i did a little bit of work um, in a car dealership they always used to leave the engine running when they were calling it steam cleaning which was effectively putting some gunk in the engine bay and then just blasting it with a jet wash so i've decided not to take any risks stick with what i know um, focus the water pressure which isn't that great it's obviously because it's all hand pumped and all i'm doing is just diluting the gunk that i've applied to the engine bay and just try and uh, try and get it to rinse off as much as i can but again the engine's still running and for some reason it tends to keep it uh, keep it from stalling so here we are it's a nice good overhead shot of the engine bay it does look a hell of a lot different so at the end of this you will see uh, you will see a comparison between what it was and what it is like now so now with the engine uh, running on the right still i'm keeping very mindful to stay to the left of the engine there's nothing rotating nothing spinning nothing that can catch that rag drag me in just give it a wipe down get as much of this fluid off as i can stop now on this right hand side before you even tackle it switch the engine off now the engine's off we can have a go now this i totally forgot there was actually barcodes on this fuel rail. There, there were barcodes here that I didn't even know existed. Um, let's get into all the electrics now. So I'm using a microfiber cloth. Now people may say, oh, just use an old rag. But honestly, you get these microfiber cloths, get a good one or two, or get a small handful. They they just oh, pay for themselves and they do it. Now the inspector is giving it the all clear. He's quite happy, Mr. Ducky. So what we're going to do now carefully, we're going to uh, we're going to take off the bags that covered off the electrical components. 
and as you can see they're still there and I again using hair bubbles just to sort of keep them in place and wrapped around not so much the coil packs which sit on top of the spark plugs down in there down the right at the back of the engine or nearest to the rear of the car because what we'll need to do now because obviously they didn't get any gunk on them and they didn't get any water in them so here are the areas that we're going to pay attention to so all along here the, the coil packs and those areas that we had the bags over here we are, here's a better look of the coil pack. So you can see there's still dirt and grime on these electrical connectors and in these coil packs. Not quite a good shot, but you still see how dusty they are. Yeah. And all we're going to use is good old fashioned WD-40. The thing that does everything. Now, I've again picked up from in the past, having motorcycles, having loads of things with engines. If you spray WD-40 into an engine bay, it is a water dispersant, a water repellent. So what I've done here is I've used this in those electrical areas uh, and, and give them an opportunity to get rid of some of the dust and the grime off without the fear of it doing any electrical damage. Don't ask me how, it must be those boys at NASA because apparently they invented this stuff. Um, I can spray it as much as I like in there and it's not going to do any damage to any of the electrics. And while I'm at it then, I'm giving the whole engine bay a good, old, thorough, liberal coating of this WD-40 just to push away any moisture, just to help dry out this cabin and make it as water protected as I can. Make it as efficient as possible as well. Done. So now, with a new brush, a clean brush, a non-gunked brush, and a nice clean, cleaner microfiber cloth, we're going to uh, tackle the elements that we'd covered up with the bags, the, all the water connectors that were covered up. And we're going to try and disperse and clean up and get rid of the, the dust and the gunk and the mess that was on, the, on those ones which were protected by the bags. And again, you'll find just you don't need a lot of pressure now. This WD-40 is amazing stuff, absolutely amazing stuff. And again, the engine is still off, so don't panic, don't worry, I'm not going to get my arm wrapped and pulled into the engine and fingers and everything broken but I'm just cleaning off the uh, the excess from these electrical connectors just to give it a bit more shine a bit more clean and the microfiber is just lifting away the dirt and the grime there's the uh, the, the dipstick entry point there which I'm going to good old thorough clean it's nice and orangey yellow haven't seen that for a while same with uh, the coil packs now moving down to the coil packs give those a little bit of a a dibba dabba with a fresh brush and go back to it with a the cloth then to clean it off. Lovely. And again, anything excess, otherwise, just give it a little bit of a buff and a shine. But by now, this WD 40 will have settled and set in the cabin, so you're only taking any moisture that is pushed away and to the top. Done. Now, a little tip, it, you can see on the top of the cylinder head, so that's that big, long, silver aluminium strip. We'll get closer to it now. If you have a look, I'm just going to do a zoom up. It's not the clearest shot, but I'm going to zoom onto the top of this cylinder head, so this bit here. As you can see, there's still lots of brown caked on oil. Now, gunk alone is not going to get rid of that. What you can do, I'm not going to bother doing it, but I'm just going to give you a quick example is you use some very fine wet and dry sandpaper um, and then just small neat round circular movements with the uh, with the wet and dry paper and just work on a certain area and you'll see that those pitted dark areas spotting all over your nice clean uh, engine bay spoiling the look instantly will start to disappear. So you can see the little area that I've done there just to demonstrate it, it, it's gotten rid of those little horrible dark patches. I'll just give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a degunk and then a dry off. La, la, la. And you can tell it's quite a difference. Quite a difference. And that literally what did that take me? 20 seconds. So if you spent some time, you know, a little bit of music on in the background if that's your thing. Um, you'll probably get that quite shiny. Great. 
So let's have a look. Let's, let's look at the before and after pictures. So here we are on the left, the before, on the right, the after. I'm sure you'll agree it's a hell of a difference. So thanks very much again for the, uh, for the request. If you have any other videos you'd like me to try and have a go at, put it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please do already. Thanks for watching and stay smart. Stop, stop, stop.